next guest is known as the Bearded Yogi, and he's on a mission to help needy New Yorkers through yoga. Here to talk about his upcoming fundraiser, Big Love Weekend, and to give us a few tips on yoga you can do anytime, anywhere, is Jason Patrick. Welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Thanks Great for having me. Great to have you here, Jason. Thank you. And it's your birthday today. It is my birthday hey. today. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Birthday. Thanks for being on the show on your birthday. Yeah. Let's talk about Big Love Weekend. It's a two-day event. Yoga, yep. panels, tell us about all the good stuff happening. It's a really, it's a phenomenal, I would say, epic weekend of wellness. And what we're doing, this is the third year that we're coming into this, and it really means a lot to me because every year I celebrate my birthday and giving back to our community and helping support an organization. That really means a lot to me. Yeah. God's love, we deliver. Well, tell so. us a little bit more about that organization and how sure. they help New Yorkers. Yeah, definitely. Um, God's love is celebrating their 30th year. And in the 80s, they are were the pioneers of helping feed those who were dying of AIDS and HIV. Yeah. And so 30 years later, they support um, and help feed those living with chronic illness. So it's beyond an HIV initiative. Yeah. So they're here in our city and they're feeding yeah. a lot of people in need that need right. food. Yeah. Well, that's so, and, yeah. and now Big Love Weekend is, is February 28th and uh, March 1st. It sure that's is. When it's happening. Yeah. yeah. But, but talk to us about God's love we deliver. Yeah. Um, and how, why you decided to get involved. You. Well, for, for me yeah. personally, um, I was in a space of being really ill. I, f I found out I was HIV positive in 2011, and I came back to New York City. And I was very fortunate enough to have a community of friends and family that took care of me. It was a really humbling experience to ask for help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so God's love has always meant something to me. And after a year of really taking care of myself, I teach yoga. So and get, working with doctors and getting really um, healthy. I wanted to give back. And so yeah. the first year, I just threw a little birthday party and we raised a little money for them. And, and then each year, it's kind of grown into a really big thing. So from last year, it was a weekend at the uh, Breslin at the Ace Hotel. Yeah. This year, we're going to be at the Prince George um, Ballroom for the Wellness Ooh, Day. Nice. And we're yeah. back at the um, Breslin at the Ace Hotel for the party. So it's really a sense of building community. And I wanted to give an opportunity for everyone to experience a little bit of a different yoga called mm. Karma Yoga. And that's a path of service. It's a uh, um, path of uh, um, selfless service. But is that a different type of yoga that's involved in that, or? It's a yoga yeah. off your mat. So, and you know, we go in and we could do today, we'll do a little yoga in our yeah. bodies and how we can really care for ourselves, but the action of being of service and, and, and doing it selflessly is a purification of the heart. And I feel like big love is really ambient at that. Yeah. So how long have you been involved in yoga and how has it helped your body? Sure, uh, I've been doing yoga for about 13 years and I've been teaching for, oh my God, about four and a half years. So I lived in New York City for many years in a corporate environment and I kind of said bye and went <laughs> to the Bahamas and lived in a yoga ashram for a couple oh, years. Oh wow, that sounds That's, like a great idea. Yeah, it does. Right? <laughs> a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> but coming back here in the city and I feel like we all need it. And yeah. I think having yoga, whether your job is, and bringing it into um, a space, um, for me it's brought a lot of balance and acceptance and, and you know, a connection of really feeling grounded and through the path of karma yoga for me, it's brought in definitely um, peace and joy and mm -hmm. connectiveness in the city. Wow, so you're actually gonna show us some chair yoga. This is gonna is be fun, we got some karma? stools, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So I mean, well, a lot of us spend a lot of stuff. days <laughs> at, a, uh, at a desk, and okay, so yeah. maybe right, our right. feet are normally on the floor, but here, we'll just put it here. Okay. I think okay. it's finding groundedness here, and a lot of times is we don't twist. And I think mm. twistings are really good. So when okay. we start off for like a chair yoga, mm -hmm. for our feet are on the floor, whether it's on a stool, bringing one hand to the side, and if you just grab the end of mm -hmm. the stool, and then bring one hand onto your thigh here, which you're doing beautifully. Okay. Just take an inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, just start to twist a little bit. It's a lot about breath work. Inhale, lengthening, and twisting. And you so feel that stretch. Oh, I felt a crack. I, I, I heard that crack. Oh. And then we'll just come and do it on the other side real quickly. Is that a bad sign that my That's back is cracking? That's a really good sign. Oh, it's a hot yoga, too. Okay. Um, again, in the really breath. This really good, actually. Well, we need to do yeah, this before every show, I think. Wow, that was a loud crack, <laughs> Shannon. So, <laughs> interesting enough, <laughs> we could start with a lot of those twists, but that's a simple one. Again, uh -huh. like bringing your feet together okay. and then having your knees together. You can bring your hands to heart center. Again, if you're at your desk, right here we go, ohm. Oh. And then you just bring your elbow, left elbow on the outside of the right knee. And then you come into the twist here. So this oh, is a wow. little bit deeper. You might yeah. have a deeper crack. Yeah. Pressing the palms together. <laughs> oh. But you know, we could do this back and forth, but 
we could also just get up. And I feel yeah. like a lot of movement is also really nice. And sun salutations is a really good thing just to get the whole body flowing. Okay. So feet together here. Together. Let's bring okay. the hands to heart center because we're doing that a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just take an inhale. Stretch the arms all the way up. And then exhale. You're going to dive forward. Be careful of those cameras here. We go Wait. forward. <laughs> And this Ooh. hands to the floor. Inhale, you Not just in lengthen. Not this tight skirt. That's okay, love. <laughs> and then just lengthen halfway. Okay. And then exhale, fold. <sighs> Press down. Inhale, the arms all the way up. <sighs> this Palms is so relaxing. Together. Do you recommend Hands people hand. do this every day when they're at work or? Oh, I recommend that every stressed? day. Yeah, but it, how it helps. Long? If you just did that for like just 10 minutes of your day, if you can't make it to a yoga class, yeah. that would bring a lot of balance. And I think that's what we're all searching for, right? Yeah. Is trying to find some centeredness in this gorgeous city that we live in. Very true. Doing some yoga and helping our community. And this is going to help you physically as well. You're going to see. You're going to see benefits. I think yeah. it's really taking the time. I know a lot of times we rush to I, New York. I think it was the uh, Wall Street Journal had a great article today talking about how you go to your yoga studio and you're just like, oh my God, there's no room, it's all crowded. Yeah. Right, Where's right, that right. zen? Mm -hmm. And I think we could bring that zen into whether it's our, our office or our home. You know, it's how we mindfully bring that peace yeah. and mm -hmm. centeredness yeah. and doing so. Anytime, these movements. any place. Anytime, any place. Well, where can we learn more about your Big Love Weekend and your yoga practice? Yeah, go to beardyyogi.com. It's very, com. very Love simple. That name. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Right, Namaste. Stay. Namaste, guys. Right, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Rise 360. Let's do some more poses. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>